Well, the extension of the barn is almost ready. And we finished it with a really nice floor. And in the end, I decided I wanted to start milking there. So today we're getting it ready, not only to milk, but also take care of the moms in more of a private area and not so exposed to everyone else. If you watched my last video, you probably already know this is the routine we've been doing with the new bottle babies. And it's keeping them inside at night, but then early in the morning, we will bring mom and we'll give her some grain to help with the milk and put the babies to nurse. The only reason why I do this is because I want to make sure that they eat enough at least one time in the morning and one time before bed. Throughout the day she will feed them, but at this point I make sure that she is on the stand for about 20 minutes and I can rotate her kids and make sure that they're eating. If you missed my video where I shared with you how I'm bottle feeding, I'm gonna have it on the top of the screen and then you can see the signs of when you need to pull a baby from mom, at least at night, which is what I'm doing. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean her. Uh, her tail is really disgusting. So you can see everything is sticking to it. Maybe you can see, maybe you can't. So I'm gonna give her a good clean with coconut oil she doesn't want to be here I separated her kids from her last night and she's not really happy about it so she just fed the kids but she as you can see with coconut oil it comes right off and it really is not pulling on her uh, hair at least not that much but you can see this is clumps of blood that is sticking to her tail and I don't think she's probably too comfortable. Now it is normal for those to start well to continue to have a discharge up to two weeks. Um, they shouldn't be dripping lots of liquid blood. Uh, usually comes out a little bit thicker and it usually comes out more of a discharge, like thicker discharge. So that is why it's sticking to her tail. And I'm gonna give her a little tail massage just to get it off. Like I said, I'm sure she's not too comfortable with this. So I'm trying to help her feel a little bit better. She's, if you don't want to do this, you don't have to. I didn't do it the first year. I didn't clean them like deeply when after they had kids. But um, I was watching this video. I'm gonna link it down below because I think this lady just has the best setup. Um, and she shared that she uses coconut oil in spray. And I thought, I think, you know, for me, that is wasteful, but coconut oil makes perfect sense. And as you can see, she's not fighting it. And I'm messing with her tail and I'm messing with her privates. And she's not really mad about it. It's just because it's warm. You can see, it, today is cold, but I melted it in the microwave. And so, it's really warm and I'm sure she is enjoying, quite enjoying this spa <laughs> situation. Now I'm going to try to get every last bit. And this is more for her to be clean and to be honest is also about the others because they you know just walk right behind her or something and what happens is that they get all dirty yesterday Athene and also Ava they're both white and silver they both were um, all bloody and I'm sure it was because of mocha 
as they were walking behind her or something, you know, she was getting all kinds of blood on them. Right. So Briere is in labor and she's driving me absolutely insane. I am telling you, I've never, ever, ever been so on edge with a goat like with Briere. She's been screaming her head off nonstop. She's like screaming to get out, but once she gets out with everyone else, then she doesn't know what to do. She's driving me crazy. So I'm going to do this haul because I've been collecting these things. Haven't been showing you. So let's get started with this San Francisco. It's a starter culture. And I'm going to start it probably either tonight or tomorrow. But I wanted to show you. I'm going to put links of what I bought down below. I order everything on Amazon. I know that's lazy. But I should have kind of bought at different places but to be honest I wanted to make my purchase and be done so I got this because somebody recommended this San Francisco style I also ordered this fusion teas milk kefir grains kef milk kefir grains uh, everyone pronounces differently I call it kefir so I don't know what the actual pronunciation is but this is organic milk kefir grains this is one tablespoon so this is something that I'm gonna start and for this I bought that over there and I'll I'll share with you what it is but those are the two things that I been eager to get in the mail I got a new cheesecloth this is from the cotton farm and uh, somebody recommended to me it's made in Turkey but I don't know what the main difference is but I go through cheesecloth so much that somebody said that this were really good. Now, this is a butter mold, and basically the only difference between this and any other on Amazon is that it has these little markings, so you know what is a tablespoon, basically. That's why I got it, and it has a lid on top and um, yeah I just want to have a mold for butter uh, I just feel like it'd be more useful this kind of mold so I don't have to weigh the butter every single time I use it so that was something that was in my wish list for quite a while then I have this silicone fermentation lids where basically you can put it on top of a mason jar and the air can escape but nothing can get in and it comes with two, three, four lids and I actually never own one of those and I thought that I would try them to make my life easier. Now this is Joy Jolt. This is the brand of this milk bottles. They are glass and not plastic. I like everything glass for my milk or at least the milk that I'm gonna drink or I'm gonna make into cheese and stuff like that so that is why I wanted to spend a little bit more but get them in this uh, glass now the um, lids are just like this you push them close and it comes with three extra ones and this pour so if you want to just do milk you can do that or you know cream whatever sadly comes only with one but last year I was using mason jars and my fridge was a mess I have this fermenter for the kefir and it's just very simple it has a strainer here on the top you can also use it for juice things like citrus and it comes with everything that you need a user manual and this is glass and I thought it was perfect because it has the line so you can see basically once you're feeding it and I thought this would be cleaner easier and this would be the one devoted container for that and 
Then I got this. I want to show you this because it's an investment for me. But these are the hoses that shrink. It comes in this bag. I had a lot of luck with them. They're amazing. I use them everywhere. And they come with this little closure in the tip. So you don't really have to turn off the faucet. You can basically just use that to shut off the water to this. This is the only, I think it's only 50 feet. And the other one is 100. So it, you know, the other one that I own is 100. So this is 50 feet and it's more than enough. But if you want to invest in a good hose for your homestead, I've had really good luck with this one because we use hoses every single day. And um, this ones just work way better than any other ones. Now this is the sling that I was mentioning that I mentioned in my kitten kit video and it's big because you can do with calves and everything but I bought it bigger because that way I could use it for the adult goats and I can trim their hooves as well. I'm gonna try. I don't know if I will be able to pull it off but certainly gonna try in my new area in the new milking area is where I'm planning to do all the trimming the hooves and all the maintenance so this is gonna live there then I got the portable electronic scale this is a fish scale and it comes with this neat mm, for measurements of course because this is for fish so that's really really handy but I also got this and this is the Therm Pro this is a candy and frying thermometer I always wanted one for when I try to do candy around Christmas but I thought it'd be very useful for cheeses as well so it's it's very simple to use it wasn't really expensive or anything like that and again it just works so this is the smaller stuff and then and then finally the big purchase was this electric milk separator this is what it looks like here at the bottom now i'm not going to attempt to put it together this is a big box but i'm not going to try to put it together because i don't want to um kind of misplace things i'm gonna have my husband help me tonight put it together I really want to make butter easier and the way that I was doing it was in the blender and it really wasn't the easiest way that's all I can say it really took a lot of time a lot of thought a lot of preparation and with this I can separate it and I can use the cream for a bunch of other things and I can also use um, the skim milk so it's gonna be this is gonna be amazing I really cannot wait to start using it I am just still going through the process of kidding so I'm not going to get too anxious about it but it comes with instructions on how to put it together how to get more of a creamy uh, thicker cream or thinner depending what you want so we'll see we'll see what happens but this is definitely something that has me super super excited